Hey everyone, you're watching Wisdom Shorts. There once was a little boy who had a bad temper. His father gave him a bag of nails and told him that every time he lost his temper, he must hammer a nail into the fence. The first day, the boy had to drive 15 nails into the fence. Over the next few weeks, as he learned to control his anchor, the number of nails hammered daily came down. He discovered it was easier to hold his temper than to drive those nails into the fence. Finally, the day came when the boy didn't lose his temper at all. He told his father about it and the father suggested that uh, the boy now pull out one nail for each day that he was able to hold his temper. Days passed and the boy was finally able to tell his father that all the nails were gone. The father took his son by the hand and led him to the fence. You know, he said, you know, great job my son, but look at the holes in the fence. There are marks. The fence will never be the same. You know, you can put a knife at someone and draw it out. It won't matter how many times you say, I'm sorry. The wound is still there. You know, that's physical wound. In the same way, there are mental wounds, emotional wounds. When we say things in anchor, they leave a mark, a scar, just like uh, with the holes on the fence. In a life, especially in relationships, negative words can cause deep scars inside people. On the surface level, we can ignore after some time, but on our subconscious level, it, rema it remains and it will influence our behavioral patterns. So I want to introduce a concept called emotional bank account. This is a metaphor popularized by Dr. Stephen Covey, a very powerful one. You know, like in bank, we deposit and withdraw, right? So the more deposit we have, we feel rich, we feel secure, we feel safe. And the more we withdraw money, the more insecure we feel. Same with relationships. By proactively doing things that build trust, love and care in a relationship, we are making deposits. Conversely, by reactively doing negative things, we are making withdrawals. Now, for example, appreciation is a deposit. Fault finding, blame, etc. are withdrawals. Love and care is a deposit. Anchor, sarcasm, etc. are withdrawals. Got it? If you look at any relationship between husband and wife, or parents and kids, manager and team members, we have many transactions, many interactions. If you want to nurture any relationship, we have to put an effort and constantly make deposits. See, it's human to have conflicts, you know, negative interactions, but we have to balance it somewhere. You know, otherwise, people will be emotionally broke. Yeah? You know, just like a real bank account, a zero balance is trouble. A negative balance means like you are in a real danger zone. If you have poor civil score, you, know, you will not get any loans. You know, similarly, people will not be there for you if you keep breaking their trust. An emotional bank account grows when partners make more deposits than withdrawals. The difference between a happy and an unhappy relationship is how we manage our emotional bank account. So the story didn't end. So the son will ask, so dad, you know, what should I do to cover up uh, this marks, this holes? Dad says, the only thing we can do is to paint the fence with multiple layers of paint and also we can you know, place some plants and flowers to make this place beautiful. You know, same with relationships. In case of any damage, we can heal it with love and care. The, ma the, 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 the magic relationship ratio is 1 is to 5. For every negative interaction, we have to balance it with 5 positive interaction. Why 5? Because our mind gravitates towards negativity. We need tons of positivity to balance negativity. If you don't have a rich emotional bank account, start small by noticing and investing in other person's happiness. Bit by bit, our positive interactions will help your relationship. And one day, your emotional bank account will be filled with wealth of love and respect you have for each other. And this works in any relationship, in marriage, in friendship, in parenting, at workplace, between manager and subordinates, uh, with your customers, in any relationship, you know, we have to make positive emotional deposits and nurture relationships. And in this account, investments are not subject to market risk. You will always get multifold returns. Thank you so much for watching. Stay strong, stay safe.